Anyway, welcome back. Um, just gonna do some of this. I don't know, uh, if I'm gonna be having guests today. If my guests want to join, they can. It's open for it. Vin, um, I finally bought a hat in time today thanks to your playthrough. That's a good choice. <clears throat> the DLC is really good too. Um, okay, so, uh, day 21 will be the raid, so I think we'll be seeing a raid at the end of the stream today, chat. I say raid, I mean a zombie clusterfuck. Oh, let me change the, uh, video settings so that you get less crust. Okay, even though I had some complaints about that song, I'm still hearing Elton John's part in my head right now. That's why I think it might be a grower. Okay, let's eat. Do I have enough water? Yeah, I'd take more collaborations with Elton John for Gorillaz. I mean, I know they only typically do a couple. I still think David Byrne would be a fantastic collaboration. Dude, Niall Rogers, was he ever on a Gorilla song? I was just talking about him before. Did he ever play rhythm guitar for Gorillaz? Because I feel like that would be a good fit as well. No, he hasn't been. Oh, oh shit, I'm infected. Less clay pool in gorillas? Oh, I'd, I think that would be re actually really good. Totally down for that. Then you read what Desert wrote? No. Oh, I see. Well, here, give me, um... I'm gonna play a little bit on my own. If I do get some lads in, it'll be in like uh, an hour, half hour. So, um, but it's, it's still available for them to join. It's just, you know, passworded. I believe they have it. Um, so I need to cure infection. Oh, I see. I see. All right. So I need to cure. Should I do two honeys? Well, now I might have to do three. Someone in chat named Cuck Gaming wants to join. <laughs> that tickles me, that's good. <laughs> Every so often I see a chat member name, and I'm just like, that's... that's brilliant. We'll get some more iron. We're gonna have to build some defenses, chat, because right now... We're on, um... Soon we'll be up Shit's Creek. I have this shitty turret, which only shoots hammer. Short-range hammer shoot.
So, um, first mission, before we go raiding, or, like, trying to find some extra stuff, I just want to grab some more wood and resources to help out with the, uh, with the defenses. And you're gonna check out the Deep Rock Galactic update in October. Too many damn games are getting updated. It's just so impossible to keep up. I, ideally, I would like to, but that's also a busy month for me in terms of spoop gaming. So, we'll see. Remember, for every one game request I get, I get like ten more for a different game. Steve, what opinion on Steve in Smash, says chat member. So let me read that the way I heard it in my head. Steve, what opinion on Steve in Smash? I did a whole segment on it earlier, though, if you want to watch. Um, it'll be on YouTube, I'm sure. But, yeah, that was the first thing I did, was talk about Steve Craft. Some trash over here. You know, I like me some trash. Um, John says, I'll post the Steve segment to YouTube in five minutes so you can direct people there. Wow, okay. John works quick. John works very quick. So we need, um, should I build the spike traps and then upgrade them, or should I try to just build, you know, iron spike trap? What, what do you guys think? Go for iron, maybe? I think I have enough iron for it now. You could do a mix of both. Death pits. I think I need clay to make the forged iron, so that means I'm gonna have to dig. So let me let me eat and drink, and then I'll um. Uh, we we are running dangerously low on water in this here base, and that is a little scary. Well, we can do something with this murky water at least. Oh, I've got plenty of clay. I don't need to dig for more clay. Follow me, don't follow me, I've got my spine. Yeah, I do have quite a bit of forged iron. There's some here. And I have more on the way. to go for another honey because I'm still infected. So, let's put the stuff here and let's get a get a fuckload of forged iron so we could just really get some nice defenses. This is going to take some time. Chat, will it go faster if I use the crafting bench? I don't think there is a way to do that. Vinny, the roof? Oh, the roof seems to be okay. Vinny, are you excited for the St. Vincent collab? Yeah, I think, like I said, maybe that's what made me think of David Byrne, but I love St. Saint, Saint Vincent's album with David Byrne. Um, I've heard a little bit of her own stuff, but I think that's another good choice, like... You know, like, humans had too many collaborations, and, um, the Now Now had almost none. 
but in this case, like, Damon's going, like, all out with the collaborations, but they're good ones. So I don't really mind too much. I do like a couple songs being, like, Damon-focused as well, but at least... At least it's good stuff. Alright, murky water, boiled water, here we go. Cook. There we go. Damon Paula. <laughs> yeah. Kevin Parker collaboration, eventually. Um, yeah, John Full Sauce just posted the thing. Thanks again, John. Fuck, these things were crafting. Did I cancel them? Uh, the next Gorilla song will be, will be the Beck track that was leaked. I thought that was an excellent track. I'm a little biased because I like Beck's music, but I thought it was great. Someone said I thought Beck was kind of a prick. I don't think he is. I mean, from by all accounts, like I haven't heard too much bad about him. Um, it's just the Scientology thing, which apparently he denied he's a part of. He s he did an interview recently, he was like, yeah, I'm not really in that. Like, I think his- his father was in it, and he just kind of got forced to be around it. And, um, I thought he was gonna get, like, you know, sued, or, uh, worse, when he did this interview where he was like, yeah, I don't really have anything to do with that church. So, I don't know what the hell's going on with that. But again, he seems like a nice guy. When I saw him live, his banter with the crowd was really chill. He- he seems like... like him and McCartney hang out. Um... Doesn't seem too much like a prick. Will you be playing more Phasmophobia at any point? The game gets a lot better once you can afford some better gear. I'm thinking, yes, Ph Phasmophobia will definitely show up on stream again at some point. But I also wouldn't mind it being fixed up a little bit, so that I don't sound like a siren. So yeah, it'll probably be on stream again. Wood spikes. The wood spikes take a lot less time to build, so it's probably worth it for me to just, you know, build both. Um, just do that. I'm um, sorry, this is a lot of resource gathering. I didn't realize this stream was going to be so boring, but. Vinny, I was the one who touched your face last night. Oh, okay. Yeah, some rando joined when I joined German server for the first time. And I was like, yeah, abort, abort. Vinny, force mods to do that shit. Yeah, alright. One second here, chat.
Mouth Dreams listening party? Well, there already was one. Yeah, one second. Not from me, though. One second, I'm just setting a password for this thing. Uh, this does take a little bit of... Not too much, but I, there's a couple things that have to be done here. Alright, I think I have to actually go online on Steam. get the cuck gaming guy to do it. He'll do it for free. <laughs> Gaming. Having mods do your bitch work on stream is basically paying them an exposure. <laughs> No, we're gonna- we're gonna go on a raid together. It's gonna be fun. You know, we're- we're gonna, like, uh, fight the zombies and... Then I assume there will be no stream tonight. No, not tonight. I've been streaming, like, because of Spelunky 2, I've been streaming a lot anyway. So there's probably a lot of extra stuff that you haven't seen yet. Uh, that said... This game took up a lot of my time last week, and, uh, I'll be here probably tomorrow night to finish Mario Galaxy. Double check. Mm. Oh, sorry about that. Someone said this is probably the ugliest game ever. <laughs> I completely disagree. I don't get when people say this game is ugly. Look at that. If you just look at that, that doesn't look terrible. I've seen so much worse. However, it's just that all of this is like Minecraft. Because everything can be dug, blocks can be placed, everything is like sectioned off into like quadrants of block. Which is what makes it... You know, there's only so much they can do, is my guess. It's also auto-generated. I wouldn't say it's ugly, I just would say it, it lacks style and grace. And it has a funny face. But that's also because it's- it's zombie Minecraft. Minecraft has zombies. Yes, it does. Hey, Mono. Yes, me lord. <laughs> I need you to work! More work? More work. Job's done. Zug zug. Swobu. Oh my god. <laughs> Give me a quest! These voice lines are stuck in my head for the rest of my life.
Where are we going? That's desert. Wait, was that desert or was that mono? Righto. I don't know who this is. Oh, that was that was the probably secret. desert. Yeah, that was yeah. desert. <laughs> Even when you're doing a voice, I can still kind of figure out how you guys doing. Good dude, how are you? How are you doing? It's the worst day of my life because Minecraft Steve got confirmed for Mario Kart. You know, but otherwise Mario pretty Kart. good. Yeah. Yeah, did we watch the same announcement or no? I haven't even watched it yet. No, it's... I've already talked about it, and it doesn't look too terrible. I'm actually pretty excited about it, on some level. I threw you guys some requests. Um, if you just press I... Well, but you probably already know that, so... Why is everyone so pissed about Steve? I don't know. I just wish that Steve had his original hurt sound, that Ooh. sound, instead of Ooh. just <laughs> Ooh. I think it's, it's like the character problem with Smash is always that people get upset that their character is being replaced by other character. Because people have their favorites that they hype up, and they're like, I want that, I want that, I want that, and then they get Steve, and they're like, Ooh! So, that's my yeah, guess. Yeah, I mean, he was on the list of, like, characters I would have wanted for the game, but I, he, I can perfectly, he's perfectly fine, I could recognize that Minecraft is a gigantic thing in gaming. Yeah, absolutely. It deserves, it deserves its spot, it's well-deserved. Like I said, even if it wasn't a character, there's stuff they could have put in that I think I'm shocked it took this long to get Minecraft in there. So. Also kind of seems like Smash Brothers has become this uh, symbolic representation of like the current state of gaming. Like we have all these classic characters. It's taken everything that's popular here. It's like a, a time capsule of that year. And, and it, it is. Yeah, it certainly is. Um, though I do think it's also just, you know, a game. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, what is better it... way to pay tribute to games uh, than with a game? Exactly. I can't even ask for any more characters because I've gotten so many already that I wanted. Yep. I, I feel greedy. Yeah, me too. Dave, you were about to say a word. Yeah, tons of people are playing Minecraft now because of this. Playthroughs will begin all over again. Yep. Hey, I'm just saying I'm a year ahead of schedule with my Minecraft stream. It's already done. I had a good time with it. I don't need to do another one. <laughs> Not anytime soon. Um, did we become allies, uh, Desert, Dave? Like, what do I... Uh, I accepted your one invite. Yeah, we are allies. Okay, we're so Desert, party, you're, you're super close. You're super, yep. you spawned really close, okay. So Desert himself is a biome, so if we walk over towards desert, we'll be in the desert biome. <laughs> the desert predictably made his base on Jeff's server in a desert. But there's no zombies Classic. out there. It was really safe. It kicked ass. And then had a you, little camp and everything. And then you had to deal with hordes. Nope. Not in the desert. I mean, when you moved over to the firehouse, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, when we move over the firehouse, then everything went bad. Also, Jeff, are you in the voice chat? No, he's not. No, he's not. I forgot how to play this game. I can, like, only remember how to play one game at a time. It's hard to jump around. You can imagine... Punch grass. I keep trying to, like, use the whip. 
you know, and save the dog, but, uh, it's a different game entirely, I've discovered. Yeah, I tried pulling out the spirit box to talk to the wraith, but it wasn't working. <laughs> Yeah, you and Norix are the ones that recommended I play that. And then, um, I got, like, 30 recommendations. And then Ross randomly... As I was talking to Jerma about, like, possibly doing a thing of it, Ross was like, Hey, man, have you heard of... Phasmophobia? Or what's it called? Phas... Yeah, is that it? Is that it, the name of it? Phasmo... Fear of ghosts. Phallosophobia? Like that, yes. That's the thing, too. So, yeah, it was cool that it just kind of all coalesced all at the same time. This game came out of nowhere. Well, I was playing it before it was cool. And then all of a sudden it got really popular. Mono, the people that don't know you in my chat are going to be like, Oh my god, what a hipster. I, I know I you like... well enough. I know. <laughs> They're going to be like, Oh, this guy. True. But Mono does tend to find the cool VR games before the rest of us. This is a very, very common thing. Um, Mono probably was the most, like, fierce proponent of VR of any of us for, a, like, a couple years, I'd say. To be a hipster again, uh, I was the person that originally submitted the virtual reality category to Twitch because <laughs> before most people had headsets because I thought that it's going to be so hard for VR streamers to like find one another and to, for people to understand what they're seeing and they approved the request and for like a couple years there was a VR category on Twitch that helped spread it around. Mono is setting trends. And then I remember it was like 2016 and Job Sim came out and I took a huge risk at like not doing any test streams with VR or anything. I just thought like, okay, my computer can handle it. And by some miracle it did. And the whole bunch of the Job Sim devs came and watched my stream. All of a sudden I was like, oh, and they're like retweeting and like, okay. So now I have the Job Sim like dev team watching me hope that my computer can handle streaming VR. And it was really nerve-wracking, but by some miracle, it went really well. So, yeah. Sometimes miracles happen. I'll give you an example of a miracle. Desert ate so many blueberries, he's now blue. Actually, it was silver. Oh, colloidal silver? Like the old yeah. grandpa? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> That's exactly what I was going for! They turned a man blue, chat. He blew it. <laughs> God damn it. So, does there's, uh, equipment. There should be some extra armor. There's some weapons. Feel free to take, uh, there's a cowboy hat. <laughs> yeah, you know. I just found a whole bunch of it. Okay. So, do you need iron? Or what? Where should I, uh, be slaved to, or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here, here's what I would do. Um, over here in the forge, there's a bunch of iron, and you can start by making some uh, spike spike traps. What are they called? Iron spike traps. So grab one of those. Um, if you can make those, make them. And then we'll just start setting them around. I have to use the wood and some cobblestone to extend some of these walls, because they're not tall enough. So that's my current objective. Um, otherwise, yeah, what we should do is go on a raid, find some equipment, some stuff, some, some, some supplies, and stock up before we get attacked on day 21. If we go on a raid, we should do it at night, and we might become legends. Is it, oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I don't get to... You don't want to raid in the shadows? God, oh! th this is one of those times <laughs> where I wish chat could see my face. I really almost <laughs> never want to be on camera, but just now would have been fantastic for that. 
I mean, what's your offer? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, 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 they have way more money than they would ever need for ever. I swear to God, they probably spent like 7% of the budget for that game on the game and then the rest all advertising. Yeah, Dave, weren't we like talking about this a few days back? Like how they have so much money? Uh, yeah. Plane, having that combo? Plane. Yeah. Yeah, it's a conversion thing. Like, yeah. it, if you can manage to convert enough with your ads, you're basically funneling money like an investment. So you just, if you know that putting in ten dollars of ads will get you fifteen dollars of people playing and buying the game, you just put money in forever. All right. So just to let you guys know, there was a plane. So um, I set a waypoint, so I know where it is. So at some point, we should head on over there. Oh, you saw where it landed? I could just run over there right now. I have nothing to lose. Sure, it's just... Um, let's say, if you look here... I'm gonna set this waypoint public, so you can... Yeah, you can go to the map and do shared waypoints or whatever. So I'm gonna save waypoint... as a... crate. And then... Do you see the X? Uh, Southwest. It says, it says you yeah. shared. Let's see. Yeah, I see it. I'll just save that. Oh, I had to hit share on map. Okay, yeah. Uh, do you have this set so that we lose just hot bar hot stuff? Hot bar or only. We lose and we die? Okay. Chat, should I cover this with a ceiling? So the zombies can't jump. Maybe that's the best plan here. Instead of, like, setting, um... Yeah, I'll do that instead, because I was going to build it a little taller, but if I just set... Like a wood plate, like a plate on top of it, it'll probably look good. What? <laughs> that just break on its own? Yeah. Just fell. Probably have to advanced rotate it so that it, like, is braced between the walls. <laughs> I don't- I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I think it has to be a ceiling of the- the block that the walls share, and not a floor of the block above the walls. I think you're right, yeah, it's- it's not... Because these are the walls on the outside of it, so I, it's just like... Landing on nothing right now. Um, let me try wood control plate. I, I'm, this probably won't work either, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Yeah, that's not gonna work, never mind. Vinny, you need framing, maybe. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to keep it a little bit more um, stylistically bold. I like that open sign, too. I like that people could see it. Dog! Yes, dogs are pretty cool. I, I found I a puppy. I, I'm I bringing agree. it home. You probably don't want to bring these puppies home. I... Bad dog! Oh god. Huh. <sighs> I had to put her down. It's a zombo dog, so... It's probably, you know, for the best. I mean, it could be like Day of the Dead. Maybe we can train them to be, like, nice. Like that one zombie. Yeah, what's his the name? One, the one who liked music. Bub. Was it? Bub. Yeah. <laughs> that's a movie I should rewatch for the spooky season. Day of the Dead. That's, that's a great movie. It's a I, great movie, I still yeah. like Dawn of the Dead a little bit better, but Day of the Dead is definitely um, a favorite. The Dawn of the Dead remake was really good. It shouldn't have been... 
It really shouldn't, but they... Did it- Do you remember the Jay Leno zombie? Yeah! <laughs> They're like, is that yes. Jay Leno? Like, they just shoot zombies from the top of the mall and... Yeah. And then they have, like, Mike Flowers saying, um... What was it? Disturbed? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get down with the sickness. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was a different type of movie, and it was made for a very specific audience. Like, you know, they wanted to bring the zombie thing a little bit more visceral into, like, the public focus, and they didn't want to do the slow same long, slow-paced movie as the original. But... It worked. I mean, it appealed to modern audiences, but it it also was its own kind of cool thing, and yet it was reminiscent of Dawn of the Dead. It was just a surprising. What the fuck just happened here? Oh, okay. Yeah, it was just a surprisingly good movie. Shouldn't have been, but I'm glad it was. The, um, Twenty Eight Days Later is a good zombie movie, but I don't like running zombies uh, that much. So for me, like, that's not, you know, it's not my preferred zombie method, but I thought it was a cool one. Yeah, running zombies can be weird. It's like, I'm okay if it's like maybe when they're first infected, but after a while they start to deteriorate and then can't do it anymore. Yeah. Like, I could see that being okay. Yeah, yeah, like, they're fresh bl bodies. Yeah. Someone said, what do you think of World War Z? It's all right. That's just, it's just all right. It had missed opportunities. Um, what were you saying, Mono? I was gonna say that's something I liked about the Walking Dead TV series is they actually kept pretty consistent. Where like in the beginning, zombies were looked a lot like people. You kind of had to double take to see if they were real, or I mean, if they were like zombies or not. And then over time, they got slower and more decayed and less of a threat. So it's cool seeing as the seasons went on that they like they actually transformed into different types of zombies just because of time. It was like again, Frank Darabont started that show off really great. And it had so much potential. And they just squandogged so much of it. Like I'm Yeah, I still think the first episode was like my favorite of the whole series. Yeah. There was like, um, you know, like a preview for like, you know, The Walking Dead season 15 or whatever they're up to. And it's like, you know, Carol is back, I guess. Like, I don't even know, like, who, like, all the survivors that, pet, like, died. Now they have, like, you know, a whole new set. And that's fine. That's what the zombie genre is about. But it's just weird. Yeah, when I see... Uh, like, I, I stopped watching after, like, season four or something, but I got to I'll see six. a commercial for the, yeah, I'll see a commercial for the newest season, then I see that Daryl's still alive, like, uh, never mind. Yeah, exactly. And as much as I like Norman Reedus and his funky fetuses, I just don't see it as fetusable, feasible. But, uh, that he's around and, you know, still kicking. I mean, sure, he's, a, he's you know, good with a crossbow. And he can survive better than most other people because he knows how to su survive. But it's like, yeah, yeah. No, the he's a fan favorite. He's happy to be a part of the show. He ain't going anywhere. He's a big draw. Meanwhile, especially with that bow, all you needed really for a show like this was five solid seasons. Tell the story, and you're done. But AMC wants those cash. All those cash. But yeah, Dawn of the Dead still is great, except the zombies look like my character from Animal Crossing. <laughs> you know, it's just like, they just put like green powder on their faces and, and like a little, is... little extra. Yeah, like, if you watch some of, like, the making of The Walking Dead, that they have, a uh, real-life level of detail for zombies, where the further away from the camera people are, the less effort they put into makeup and all oh, that. Oh, yeah, I saw that, yeah. They, and they had them all line up, and it was really funny to see, like, right in front of the camera would be, like, the most detailed by far, and then in the back, it's just, like, whatever clothes they showed up to that day, and they just gave them a Halloween mask, and that, that's the, all of the costume. <laughs> That's awesome. Real life low poly. It's 
perfect. It's like, like the best way to describe that. Imagine going through life to realize that you are the lowest level of detail the whole time. Jesus Christ, dude. That's depressing. <laughs> Vinny, will you be quitting streaming because of the Steve announcement? <laughs> yes. Yeah, sure, why not? Some heavy projection, my friend. What I like seeing is on Twitter, if you just search before the announcement, if Steve or something like that, and you see all the things that people said they would do if Steve makes it in Smash, and then people like, you know, retweet that. Like, hello, you promised. All right, you gotta eat, you gotta <laughs> eat your sock. Didn't you say you'd eat a sock for something and then it happened? Oh god, don't- I don't know. Did I? <laughs> I distinctly remember you saying something like this. I just can't remember what. Chat is my collective memory. So eventually, someone <laughs> will know. Someone will remember. How do you feel if Cave Story were in Smash? Yeah, no problem. I like Cave Story. I think, like, a cool update would be Cave Story, Isaac, and Spelunky all having uh, skins for the Me Fighters. Just, you know, just as a way to say, here are some of the most influential indie games, most played indie games, you know, here's just like a little nod. I think, like, a really major character would be Zagreus with all of his weaponry. The crazy thing is, of all the characters just mentioned, of those characters, I could see Zag fitting in the best. Yeah. Just because he's got the best arsenal. You can easily use the, the boon power. It would be like unique, interesting power-ups. I think it's still too new. I mean, it sold a million copies, which is fantastic, but... Yeah. Him and Pitt would would uh, have a nice rivalry. I can already see the uh, <laughs> trailer. Bunti. Oh, Mano, did you get the the thing? Yeah, we got the. Oops. The airdrop. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, some reason my mic's not. okay. Yeah, we got the drop. It was just a bunch of food and the uh, upgrade for a pickaxe, that gold tipped thing. Okay, that's. I guess that's okay. A bunker buster mod. But I hurt my leg on the way back, so now I'm just walking really slow. Are these spike traps actually decreasing my FPS? Shouldn't be that bad. That would be really weird, but maybe. I remember. Jeff saying that if you have too many sentry turrets around, that can start tanking the servers, like, yeah, no. quality, whatever. Only, only have a couple. Vinny, did you figure out the fire alarm noise last night? Uh, Mono, take it away. <laughs> I am an expert. No. Not at all, but all that I can guess, because I found one other case online where someone had a similar thing, is that uh, microphones that use USB power, I guess, are susceptible to electrical interference from other USB devices, especially like hubs and things like that. So because you mentioned that you had your controller plugged in the whole time, I'm wondering if it was some weird electrical thing. Because it the sample this guy posted sounded really similar to yours, the same rhythm. It was a different pitch. So I guess USB mics can be interrupted or messed with with like bad power routing with USB devices or something. That's what I'm I'm sh almost positive was my issue with my previous capture card and why I think my capture card shit itself. I feel so I was using um, USB power for a hub, and I think my capture card was plugged into it.
because when I got a new computer, I just plugged my devices into random USB spot, uh, slots. Just whatever was available. So, I noticed that my capture card started dying, the previous one, around that time. So, maybe it was a surge. Like Nari just said, powered hubs can backfeed and break things. I'm, at this point, almost convinced that, yeah, it was just an overload of power. Yeah, the weird thing, though, that kind of crumbles my theory apart, like Sphinx said, is that, uh, you know, chat on your stream could not hear it, when in theory, you know, you wouldn't hear it. But I, I didn't hear it at all, no. It. Yeah. It was so weird that only Jerma, Ross, and Gee, we could hear it. That was the strange part. Uh, so, I just want to warn you guys, be very careful when you walk out the doors. Um, no specific reason, but there are spike traps out there. Not that I just walked on them and damaged myself and got, you know, um, tetanus. Nothing like that. Tetanus from wood? No, 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 the, the metal ones. Oh, I don't even see them. They're like covered in grass. No, right, right around the back, I, I uh, set up a bunch. How do we get back inside? Oh, we just have to like... Just be careful. ...shimmy through this little passage. Yeah, zombies won't be shimmying because they're stupid. But you can be smart because you're human. Zombie brain oh, have God. rot. They, they stream. Chat were zombies, they wouldn't be chat yacht, they would be chat rot. Correct. <laughs> That's right. That's why we had the brain... brain yacht emote turned into brain rot. Right? What was the emote? I seem to remember some kind of zombie thing. And I call the Tommy emote is still the Joker. The, the, the Joker. Yeah, it just solves... It, it serves two purposes. It's, it's good for that. Someone said, please fix Tommy. Yeah. Nobody can fix Tommy. <laughs> Tommy can't fix Tommy. Then you said you would. Well, I'm going to quote Arnold Schwarzenegger and I'm going to say, I lied. More people wanted it to remain Jocker, is my answer, and just otherwise short, uh, sheer laziness is my other answer. Do we have any splints around? There's at least one. They're pretty easy to make too, so you, you don't really need to go too far. We have the materials for splint. It's just uh, cloth fragment, wood, and duct tape, so... Uh. What I need is cobblestone. And it's not that hard to, like, make, but... Just cobble it together real quick. I... I, I know deep down that I make these jokes, too. When I stream. But that doesn't make me any less disappointed in you, Mono. <laughs> Just have to accept it. <laughs> I do the same exact ship. Shit and ship. I think I have enough cobblestone. Wait, is it even being made? Why did I do that? Where'd it go? Let's do 80. That's gonna take some time. Okay. Um, there's a mini horde of, like, mechanic zombies. I got this. They just got off from work. And this is like where they usually go. <laughs> Almost certainly. Just 
let, let the hammer just like punch him in the dick. It's fun. When the hammer shoots or whatever, does it like put wear on it? I don't know. I just heard a really interesting meat noise. Leaper. Grapple the Leaper. Uh-oh, I got a broken bone. That wasn't too bad. We, we bonked them pretty good, I think. this turret. Just put the turret a little closer. So... just near there. What was that? Is that a, like, grenade someone just threw? Uh... Huh. Oh, was that a blunderbuss? Oh, that was probably a... Yeah. <laughs> I just heard it and then the sound just cut off. That's quiet. It's too quiet. Your outfit, like, Mono, you look like a ninja, like Skyrim ninja. Zombie survivor. I'm like a stalker from, uh, S-T-A-L-K-E-R. That's the name of it, yep. That's the one. Interesting thing I learned is that not to turn the subject to Chernobyl, but that in real life Chernobyl incident that like stalker was an actual term that people came up with. I mean, I'm sure chat would be like, duh, but like, I didn't know that a lot of the terminology in the game was actually used in real life, like to describe people that that like at night would try to like rob and loot the abandoned uh, zone of Pripyat and all of that. So there's people that actually had those names I, yeah that's the, like that's the kind of stuff i find very interesting that would be a good chernobyl season two not like in real life like we don't need that to happen i'm just saying that the show <laughs> like if they wanted to cover what happened in the aftermath of chernobyl that show was so fucking good they could probably easily get like another five episodes worth of material up to, like, now, with the sarcophagus. It's like, uh, yeah, at the end of the year, during New Year's, like, Ukraine's government announces Chernobyl, uh, Series 2 approved, and everyone's just kind of, like, question marks. <laughs> it's interesting, though, is that, like, a lot of people don't realize that the Chernobyl power plant looks way different than people think it does because it has that enormous metal thing over it. It's actually not the original apron or whatever they call it, sarcophagus. They have an even bigger thing. It's like on wheels. Oh, right. Yeah. Was, um, the containment unit. We've, yeah. Yeah. And there's a whole documentary about the whole process of building that. It was this weird like worldwide effort to build it and people at work there can only work for very short amount of time so they have like 
small shifts throughout the day, and it's just this whole strange world of working at Chernobyl. Yeah, and then that goes back to the the human robots. You know, like that they sent oh, out for like ten minutes at a time. Robots. The bio yeah. robots to clean the roof for like a couple minutes. And then God, it's yeah, like, yeah, you're done. Reading, all right, uh, thank you. Take care. Yeah, exactly. Like, and just reading about all of the incident and stuff like that, it just seems like a sci-fi novel. Novel. It's just like it seems so unfathomably bad. And like the words that came up with like liquidators and stuff like that. Yeah, it liquidators. Just seems like something yeah. Out of fiction, but it really beautiful. does. Like Ray Bradbury could have written something like that. Yeah. Do I even have any more honey, chat? Might. Oh, I have one. Well, we're at a strip club. We could probably find. Never mind. <laughs> the honey bee in from Final Fantasy. Yeah. I put some honey in the box, the metal box. Thanks. Yeah, I just needed one. Green pills also work, yeah. Oh, did you make a splint for yourself, Bono? Yeah. Did you happen to make more than one? No. Okay. What's no. needed for them? I always forget. Duct tape, cloth, and... I, um, wood. Yeah, no, no worries, though. I think, um, I can just make one pretty easily. I just need to find yeah, I always the materials. Say, yeah, like, what I always say about games like this, like, this happens in Terraria for me, is I run into decision paralysis. <laughs> where it's like, there's just so much that can be done at any given time that I instead do nothing because I'm I spend so much time trying to think about what to do that I just like freeze and like okay uh, what do I do? Yeah, that happens to me. That's why we're at the moment just I guess fortifying a base and we should be like we could we could do any number of things. Like there's so much that you can do in this game and here we are faffing about. Well, I mean, we need to faff about a little bit at the base, at least, because there's going to be a zombie horde. That's why I have you guys here. But there's another big tower that we could easily just raid, to. Yeah, so I guess... Oh, 21 is the raid day. So we got 48 hours? Or oh, wait. 36 hours? I can't math. Hours. It's 48 hours. So, I wonder, what does that translate to in, in human minute? Time. There's a flat circle, Marv. Oh yeah, Dave, we figured this out the other day, didn't we? It was like... Yeah. I did the five real-life minutes for in-game hour. So that would be 5 times 48. So, okay. so lads, here's um, here's what we need to do. We're we're dangerously low on ammo. I have some pistols. I have a level two pistol that I can give to one of you, but we don't have the ammo. Now, I believe there's a way to construct ammo. I'm gonna look, take a look at that Congrats. and look into it. But we should also be doing some uh, some scavenging. I think the defenses are pretty okay for the second for the for the moment. I've never actually had to make bullets in this. I've always just used bows and spears and stuff. Bullet. Well, I have 37 brass. Scrap all the lead, says Jeff. Well, we do have a lot of lead. There's, um... Yeah, there's, there's a big chunk of lead. Let me see. Let me just pull it. Pull it. 762 ammo and 9 millimeter. So we, uh, bullet tip, gunpowder, and bullet casing. Brass and clay for the casing. Lead and clay for the tip and gunpowder. Not too bad. So we need to do this at the workbench. So gunpowder. 
lead. We got uh, 2,500 clay in the forge, which you can take out if you need to. Oh, Jeff put iron in. Okay, so, yes, uh, brass. So what's, uh, let's see. Bullet. Brass and clay. So yeah, I'll take some clay out. Uh. Good death. I walked into my goddamn spikes again. I think a zombie, like, walked into the spikes like I did. Yep. Yes, it did. You made, like, a, an old Minecraft Steve sound when you hit the thing, too. You went, oh! <laughs> Let's just say it's timely. So, yeah, just be, like, extra careful. We could probably throw some candles on the wall. Mono, you wanna, um, do me a favor? Just say, no. Yes, me lord! <laughs> so, can you build some candles that's animal fat plus... something. I do. More work! I found a witch. Can we burn her? <laughs> Chat, why can't I build this? Do I- do I put this... ...in the... ...forge? Oh, that's for the forge. So we'll start with bullet casings. It's gonna take a while. Um, nine minutes or so. Is it just these two crates on the main platform where we're storing stuff? Yeah. Three. Three. Oh, the metal box. Yeah, okay. mm -hmm. You guys want to build another forge? I feel like it might be a good idea. Depends on who has the recipe for it, or the skill. I, I do. Okay, I got the animal fat. So, for candle, you need animal fat and plant fibers. We have those, too. Yeah, I have them both in my inventory. I'll, I'll make some. Do we need, like, ten? Or how many? Just, just a couple. Like, like th I would say eight candles. And we'll just throw them on the outside so we don't keep stepping on our um, thing, on our spikes. I mean, me. So I don't keep st stepping on my spikes. Uh, they do attract zombies, though, but our base is already... A fucking like beacon for for zomb porny zombies everywhere. So I I figure why not? You could advertise this place. Uh, it's like a banner ad on a website. Your mark your target market is porny zombies in your area. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be two minutes before the candles are done. Okay. Kind of a funny thing that happens in Phasmophobia is that you can put candles around and, you know, there's also electricity in the house and when electric lights flicker and stuff like that, it could mean that there's something. And then a bunch of people were kept saying like, oh my god, the lights are flickering, lights are flickering, but it was just that candles naturally flicker. So people oh. were freaking out. So it's like, I don't know if they're just really scared of playing the game or if we've gotten to the point where people kind of forget what, what candlelight is like. Candlelight? What's that, me lord? <laughs> the ancient medieval fluorescent lights. I, I, you could just easily flicker the lights too, like the light switch. Or you could do what Ross and Germa did to me yesterday, which is just make spoopy voices. Like, right. I can't believe yeah, if, I fell for it. Yeah, if, if that's your first ever round of the game, that's like the perfect opportunity to like do anything with messing with people, because they don't know what to expect. But yeah, I, I, got, I, was... I got got. Oh, yeah. 
when I was watching you guys stream too, like Norix and I were watching for a while and it's like we heard so many signs of like where the ghost was exactly. Like they were pulling things off the wall. We heard ghosts open doors and like they were around you for most of the stream. Uh -huh. And then we we're just like, okay, when is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? So you guys like narrowly avoided a lot of deaths at the same time we're like how did that not kill you guys so it's it's a funny game like that. you can't really predict exactly how the ghosts are going to behave yeah i was gonna say it's kind of like some of the stuff is a little vague too but i i was i was like kind of confused for most of it of like what does this even mean but then eventually it kind of made more sense it's yeah it's a cool game though it's the most one of the most unique games i've played like ever, in that sense. But um, yeah, that's I like kind of it. The appeal for me is that usually if there's like a uh, any kind of horror game that has any approach to ghost hunting, they'll start out and be like, "Oh, I'm hunting for ghosts," blah blah blah, and then they go full cliche horror game where it turns into just like scripted jump scare over here. Oh, collect the notes, mm -hmm. turn on the generator, go to bed and get jump scared when you wait. You know, but this actually sticks its guns, you know, it has no guns, and it just stays as a ghost hunting game the whole time, which so many people, including myself, were like, finally, a game right. that actually just tries to be ghost hunting, and not, like, <laughs> use it as a gimmick for other things. Uh, so, I'm gonna ask what that noise was. Another blunderbuss? Um, I'm also gonna ask, as chat is asking, why is Desert almost dead? Desert Don't worry HP. about it. Don't worry about it, I'm busy. Don't worry about it? Alright. You do your bit, I'll do mine. I'll just let desert be desert right now, that's fine. Dying is a bit. Going on an adventure. Yeah, it's like, let desert, me... are you doing a bit? Nope. I have a pistol. <laughs> well, we're making ammo for your pistol. At least that's the goal. Um, speaking of, Mono, do you happen to know where... Uh, never mind, we need more lead. So, lead, if we could find more lead, that would be good. I think you get it from wrenching wrecked cars. There's a lead mine directly next to our base. I will share it so I just that you know where like to dig. Two pieces of level six armor. Oh, that's pretty dope. Yeah. <laughs> it's dope as fuck. I'll give it to you before we uh we go. I'll get a pickaxe and get some of that lit up. Spooky music. This is just crafting stream. It really like nothing has happened, but I don't mind. It's gonna be let's just say this stream is going to end in a giant fucking zombie zombie malfunction. Don't even know what that means. The smash announcement today by crafting on stream. <laughs> One of the many games influenced by Minecraft, but not quite Minecraft. Now, to be a hipster again, I remember playing Infiniminer, the game that oh, inspired yeah. Minecraft. Mm -hmm. That was pretty cool until it got griefed to hell, because they purposely were like, oh, you know, players can choose to play however they want, which means they'll spawn kill you with dynamite over and over and over, and then everyone stops playing. It was cool in theory, but people just kind of ruined it, and the dev didn't really care after a while. I feel like I remember that too. But I played it not nearly as much as that. Because it was like a team-based mining game, so like one person had a like metal detector and would guide the rest of the team where to go, one had like demolitions equipment and would dig, and then one would be like a surveyor, I don't know, it was weird, but it had a cool team play dynamic to it, which if you had the right people, it was fun, but it was mostly a grief fest. That one game with the dwarves about mining? <laughs> the only one. Of it. I, I only know of one. I seem to recall dwarves being quite a bit um, in in video games regarding mining and digging, but uh, again, goblins just getting shafted. Just not an, in enough games. You can't play as a goblin in any other game. Like, a couple. I've had some goblin sauce recommendations, but I don't even really want to play those games. 
To be fair, Styx sounds pretty good. There's a game called Styx where you play as Goblin. Did you play that yeah, desert? I, yeah, I've played that. I like that game what, a lot. What is it's, it? It's like Thief, but you're a smart-ass Goblin dude, and you just go around, like, killing people and shoving them into, like, like lockers and stuff. It's actually really fun. It's, it's like Metal Gear Solid and Thief at the same time. It takes elements from both. The story's good, too. I seem to have a memory as a kid that wasn't the like the origin story of gnomes way back. Like they started as goblins and they became gnomes. Is, is there something like that in like we're at whatever mythology gnomes and goblins come from? Well, I wrote a song about trolls and goblins, but not gnomes and goblins, so I don't really have an answer. Oh, yeah, you'd be an expert. Ideally, I would be, but in, in present moment, no, I'm not quite. I don't know anything about gnomes becoming uh, goblins, but Sphinx says he made up goblins. So I, right. I'm, I'm just gonna <laughs> I just going to believe him. him. Yeah, sure. He's I've, never lied before. Mm -hmm. For a lot of these, like if there's a, a weird fantasy... Oh my god, okay, there's like a rabid bear or something killing me outside the base right now. Okay, we're outside the base. You're just gonna have to grin and bear it. Ha! Uh, it's my job. Do you need help? You're dead. I die. Oh. Do you need help? Um, Don't we all... It appears to be dead. It was a dog, not a bear. Well, they're both heinous. Not, don't even... I'm not yeah, you're saying a goddamn thing, Mono. It's canis, isn't it? Could be. I would think of canine. Canis well, lupus. And it would be Greek, right? Because canid, canidae, that would be Greek, right? I don't know, I forgot. Or is Sorry. that Latin? We're not no, very Latin. smart people. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. We don't remember our history, so we're... Uh, as that... Not knowing okay. how to pronounce word equals not intelligent. That's what Did I've learned you know from my streams. Pagoda means beard in Greek? Actually, I did not, Desert. I Big, didn't. if true. Yeah. Now you know. You learned something today. Good for you. How come there's no Pagonas in, in, uh, they don't mention it in Hades? Hmm? Because they don't go to hell. Oh, yeah, they, they don't die. That's true. We multiply. So how do you feel to, uh, be responsible for a good chunk of my deaths and everyone else's deaths in Spelunky 2? Does this... Does this in any way mean anything to you? <laughs> I... I have never played Spelunky. I've only ever seen it through your streams, dude. <laughs> that is really funny, though. That lizard really is... Yeah, it's... Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. It's... it's yeah. A, uh... It's a horned lizard. Mm -hmm. Um... It looks exactly like your avatar. Beardies. They're on a different continent, but... <laughs> sure, but, I mean, Close just... Enough. <laughs> from, like, the layman just looking at it, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah that's desert. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Its face looks like Carl. Like my like like ch my channel's mascot. Like I don't know. Like squinting really hard in a discerning way. That and and yeah, like Carl and like I said, old Marlon Brando. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just building like as much ammo as possible here. Just gonna start working on this. I found a, uh, a quest, Itsy Bitsy Spider Challenge. That doesn't sound fun at all. I'm gonna leave it here. This game have spiders? No, that's the uh, fun little crawly boy that likes to like, you know, oh, climb up yeah. buildings and shit. It's probably gonna yeah. be like a bunch of them, like coming at you in waves or something. I hate mm. those dudes because they, they're really hard to kill sometimes. I put all the lead into the new forge for you. Cool. That'll, that'll help. 
So we can do brass and lead, both at the same time. And now, um, gunpowder. <laughs> which I believe I have a, a pretty decent amount of. I think I just put it away, so that goes to show you where my brain is. But yeah, we should have enough pistols for everyone, and then... We should have enough ammo, if, if this, uh, ammo excursion goes well. Are you streaming later tonight? No. No, I'm just chilling tonight. Like I said, my studio sessions, like, have been... just random. And, uh... I'm taking the night off. But, yeah, this week has been just in incredibly inconsistent for me. I've been streaming a lot, but just at weird times. No Sorry. Mario 35. I, I might do Mario 35 tomorrow. Dave was playing it last night. Looked fun. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, without giving weird. away too much, what, what did you think of it compared to Tetris 99? I I think Tetris 99 is a little more polished in terms of, like, balance and uh, uh, flow. Like, how long a, a round can take. Mm -hmm. But it's just... Mario 35 is fun. It certainly feels like it was made by the Tetris 99 guys, um, but I can sense that it needs some patching uh... And I'm not going to explain why, because if I did, that'd be spoiling, so... Well, it's not... Yeah, I mean, it's not much of a game to spoil anyway, but I, I appreciate it. Yeah, on, on some level, I kind of want to just experience it for the first time. I popped in and watched you stream it for about 20 seconds, and then I said to myself, no, nope, I'd rather just be surprised. But it seems like a relatively simple game anyway, so... Yeah, there's just a couple of things that, like, aren't explained, and I still don't know how they work, but, um... Yeah, it, it's, it is fun to sort of figure out what the hell's going on and being surprised by it, so... I, th I think you'll like it. I don't think it's gonna, like, take the world by storm without a bunch of patching. And sure. at the end, in the end, I would really just rather have a Super Mario World version of the game. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. Don't need that many. So let's do 200. It's uh, the, the only way to get uh, honey in here from punching trees, or is there another way? Stumps. Like, do you use yeah. a certain tool on the stumps? Just an axe, yeah. or whatever. Just whatever you need to destroy it. It's fine. So, this, um. Uh, this time we can craft 140 bullets. I only have 217 gunpowder, so we might need to start figuring out. Let's see, how do you make gunpowder? It's so, coal, right? Coal and nitrate powder. So I believe I have both of those. We can also buy them if we found a trader, and there is a trader kind of nearby. So that said, um, I think we should still probably go... We should probably still do some... scavenging. So if anyone wants to, uh, we should maybe groups of two. Who wants to hit up... Are we using the body system? Yeah, like Scooby-Doo. You need to make more bikes. Oh, I have oh yeah, they did. You want to make bikes? You want to make like a bike squad? We'll be like Pee Wee Herman. Uh, issues, I think, wheels are like the hardest thing to find. Might be able to craft them though. Let's see. So, in mini bike. Life, What's oh, up? God. I was just going to say, in real life, I've been on gigantic group bike rides before because my city's like super bike culture oriented. And it is really intimidating being among a group of like 80 to 90 people on bicycles and you're like inches away from one another and you just like basically take over the entire road, which I'm sure everybody loves. Hmm. 
but it's fun. I did it during the winter too. Uh, during we were all biking on ice, and I almost fell over and took out like five people near me. But then I recovered, and one guy was like, "Dude, nice recovery!" And I was like, "Thanks." Probably was like the best moment ever. Yeah, if I had fallen and knocked people over there, I would never go back to that uh, that group. <laughs> yeah, that's that's game over. You can't show your face anymore after that. Sorry. Um. Guys, I don't know, like, I'm a little too lazy to make a bike right now. I don't want to, like, use this time to be menu stream. But we can probably make a fuckload of bikes. Are you the only one that has the full, like, recipe or whatever for bikes? I've, I can only make handlebars. I believe I do. Yeah, I have it. Uh, that said... So, B-I-C-Y-C-L-E. Uh, the chassis is... Forged iron, mechanical parts, duct tape, leather, spring. We definitely have all that. Handlebars, duct tape, leather, mechanical parts, short iron pipe, spring. The bicycle itself requires wheels, but we can make wheels. Also to clarify to person in chat saying that me and a big group of bikes going down the street is a hazard to everybody. We had it pre-approved, and the roads that we were going to take were blocked off and rerouted. So we didn't actually just take over the roads. It was like a, an organized yearly event that we did. Meanwhile, so, like yeah. if you go to the real event, it, like you hear, Born to be wild! <laughs> Desert, what did you write on this box? N.N. Goldman? Oh, well, now I exactly know what you're talking about now. <laughs> uh, konnichiwa. Eh, go man. All right, there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think desert's turning. We might need to do him in. Uh oh, he's becoming a Japanese zombie. <laughs> Even worse, a weeaboo. Oh no! I'm gonna need you to shoot me, Benny. Before it's too late. I can't do that. A zeaboo. You, <laughs> you gotta blow the anime out of my brain with a bullet. Dear Lord. Whoa. Well, I mean, I did watch Akira. A Akira, right? So, Akira. <laughs> I did watch Akira. Dave, how did you die? Uh, I just ate glass. No big deal. Okay. I'm. I was starving. I need to kill myself. We have food, you know. There's. They're in the oven. If you're hungry, guys, there's food in the oven, like next to the fire where the food's cooking. So just throwing that out there. I'm just gonna eat this egg I found next to a pile of gunpowder. Saving resources. It's all good. Listen, I'm gonna make you guys bikes, right? And this is not an easy thing to do. Can I have so a red one? I don't know if I can make a specific color of yellow a bike. Yellow is the only I, I, I color like they have one. currently. I should, be, I should be saving for like a motorcycle, but I think it would be hilarious. Oh, and streamers on the handles. Why would we Desert, be on the handles? This is a zombie apocalypse. We don't have customized bikes. You, you don't. I'm sorry. Did we lose our sense of fun in the zombie apocalypse? Yes, we did. Tr truthfully, oh. yes, we did. Yeah, let's go. It, sorry, it's game over. Oh, okay. I get you no a yellow. I, listen, I got a, a yellow, nice yellow bike for you, with wheels, and it goes ding ding. That's not the bike I ordered. It goes like this: If you are a boy and you see a pretty girl, let it go ding ding. That's not the if bike you I are ordered. A okay. I watched the video of that for the first time, and it's way scarier if you can see the guy as he sings. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is. Bottle of acid. Um, I need coal. I need coal. This is... I can't believe how much material... We don't have nearly enough coal. How do you... get coal? How do you get coal? Just be well, bad. Christmas is Christmas. coming soon. Should be pretty easy for you to get it. So... Low-key burn right there, Mana. Damn. 
No, seriously though, uh, Dave, how do you get coal again? You want to find a coal vein? I can look around for one. Damn. Damn, this is not easy. How about this? I'm going to uh, make. I'm going to make a box, right? And in that box, I'm going to put the uh, the parts for this bicycle, and we'll leave it there. Let's go scavenging. We'll find some bike parts and wheels and stuff, and then I'll make you guys a fleet. But we need coal. This really has become menu stream. Uh, Alright, I found a coal vein. Oh, that was easy. That was quick. Um, did, did anyone take the wood? It's in this crate. Oh. It's in... Okay. How much coal total do you think you need? Um, much as possible. Probably, I think ten. it's 10 per wheel, so you might want to do like 150 if you got that much. Oh yeah, no problem. I'll be right back. And acid. I think we need like acid. That, so you got a scavenge for it, yeah. Yeah, I figured. I'm gonna acid wash some jeans. Look like a '90s child. Bo boots with the fur. Apple bottom. Sure. I still oh, don't know what I, I still don't know what the word apple bottom means, but I don't I don't think I want to. Um, well, it's about the buttocks, I think. Is is it? I, I, I'm yeah, going it's, to it's assume a, it is. It's a brand. They're saying. Like Chat saying it's a brand. Oh. I thought it was like a bell bottom, but shaped like an apple. Which makes zero uh, sense, by the way, but I don't really... I, I don't think... Isn't that slang for nice ass? I I, I just... <laughs> Wait, no, that's... An, sure if you is. have an apple bottom, that doesn't mean you have a nice butt. What does it mean? What does that mean? Is that like being pear-shaped? Oh. Got your goal. It's about big, juicy ass. Oh, thank you, uh, Ulrich the Slayer 1. This go big goob ace. That. That's what it means. Oh, gonna... you have to unlock the bike chest so that I can put the coal in it. <sighs> For fuck's sake. Every time I'm about to leave the base, I, I always... Oh, sweat the fur. Get... <laughs> Drag you back in. Yeah, that's okay. I just did a sick trick. You're getting low, low, nice low, 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 low. Unlock. Here's your call. All right, thank you. I'll, I'll actually see what I can do right now to make some bikes. Oh, what the fuck? A bunch of zombies just popped out of graves near me. I didn't know they did that. We don't have enough oil. Oh god. And the bikes take the wheels take two minutes to build each. God damn, this game does not fuck around with its crafting system. I mean, it is. 8 a.m. in the game, we could probably just, like, walk somewhere, and we'd still be back before it's dark. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, let's do that, and we'll get some oil. We'll, we'll have plenty of bikes. Um, there's plenty of pistol ammo also, and, uh, that's good. So, um, yeah. and what gunpowder would be nice to find as well. I'm ready to go. Okay. I'll put all this stuff back in here. Finally. 35 oil in the chest, Finn. Oh, what? You saw oil? They should make a Twitch integration for this game where chat can organize the crates for us. Oh, that would be so good. Doing stuff. That'd yeah. be so good. And they just draw, like, a dick. In the crate. <laughs> Out of like oil. God damn it. So I need uh, handlebars. I need leather. That's the other thing I need leather. I'm gonna build one bike. So whoever wants to, you know, we can ride together like thieves in the night.
So you guys, are you carrying blunderbusses or pistols or like what? What guns are you using? It's the pistol. Peace yeah, <laughs> there's ammo in this chest by the workbench now, by the way. So if you need some extra pistol bullet, just keep in mind we're gonna need them bullet because it's gonna get crazy. Isn't there some language where the word for gun is like just his, like pistola and that is for that, every type of gun? That sounds very familiar, but I don't, I'm not sure. I feel like I was in school and I learned that and I was like, well, how do they that's, differentiate? That's Spanish. Is it Spanish? Yep. Pistola. Like in Russian. Uh, like, AK is Automaton Kalashnikov. <laughs> so they call it, like, Automaton, like an automatic machine. Like a machine gun. Or is it Automat? I can't remember. Oh, hey. <laughs> Does it really put in the work? You're, you're So you're building the pit. Yeah. Nice. I, I, I like do you think, dig. Is the pit close enough to the base? You think that zombies will get stuck in here? Yeah, I mean they. I mean they'll get bottlenecked around it. Okay. If we anything, can build a little bridge. Yeah, that's usually what you do because then like they'll go down one specific path so they can't swarm around the entire thing all at once. But you got to dig a little bit deeper. Okay. Oh. Oh, you can bunny hop, Dave. Dave. If you press C, you can do a little jump. <laughs> you should push X, like, over and over again. See, we haven't lost our sense of fun in, in the, uh, zomb zompocalypse. So you lied. We, uh, little... You just... told me you did! Yeah. Oh, uh... Yeah, Dave, uh, follow me. I'm gonna set a waypoint, and I'm just gonna head there myself, and, uh, we'll- we'll just start looting, um, the factory over there and hope for some more pistol- pistola. Maybe an automata Kalashnikov. Da. Da! Ya ne govoru poruski. The bicycle gang. <laughs> Scale a building with bunny hops. Chat says it works. Oh my god! Oh, this is so dumb! It's not very effective, but it does work. I like how that term is just skyrimming. <laughs> <No. laughs> Skyrim bike. If the bike goes like completely vertical, you start taking damage though. Oh shit, okay. Um, hey, there's wheels here probably. We should start deconstructing these cars and... If we're lucky, there will be a wheel. Did you really? get one? No. They're hard to get. Okay. My single player experience has taught me anything. We're the, we're the engineer bike gang. It's easier just to make them. Uh, well, at the very least, we're getting materials that we oh my can God, use. It's a short bus. Oh my God, it is. <laughs> just two of them. Can you drive it? No, you can't drive any of the vehicles out in the open, which I think is a little dumb, but I, I get it. It adds the progression. 
Did any of the Dead Rising games let you drive a short bus? Probably. I mean, isn't like the third Dead Rising game is like the least liked in the series? It just. No, the it fourth. Seems to everything in. The, the, third, the, fourth? the third was the worst, and then the fourth came along and was the actual worst. They brought back the main character from the first one, and he became this like muscular, uh, like no personality loser. <laughs> Yeah, it's basically a wrestler. Sorry, I didn't mean to throw shade on wrestling. Is there is there a name for these kinds of buses, or is it literally just, it, it it's just called short school bus? Uh, uh, yeah, just like that's what it is. That's the name. That's the official name of it. You know, it's I was gonna make a really normal. bad joke, but I'm not going to now. Nope. No need. Don't worry, Chad already did. Oh yeah. No one in chat said bussy. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, what that's the about? that's where your head was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause it's a little bus. Yeah, I guess that kinda makes sense though. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna I try to confused. skill this. I was like, wait, what are you thinking of? Oh, uh, God, I don't even know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's like wheels just randomly on the ground. And I, I wonder, yeah. you can't just pick those up, can you? No, and I hate that. Decorative wheels. Alright, it's Dave. one of my most hated <laughs> things. <laughs> Fucking sick oh tricks, God. bro. Is this what we're rating? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna start storing shit in the toilets. Oh, okay, you do take damage, and I did not bring any food or health materials like a dumbass well, yet again. Well, Desert, that's usually what toilets store anyway. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant, like, clay and... <laughs> okay. It's like you can you can do that now, like in real life. It's not that much different from the game. <laughs> I've played at least two crafting games though, where your character takes a shit on the regular. What was that game like? Scum? Ark. Ark's one of them, and then oh, Craftopia yeah. is another one. That one that looks like Breath of the Wild. Your character poops in that game. Oh, what, what's that Funniest one? Funniest shit I've ever seen, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it's so out of nowhere. It's that game, uh, The Long Journey, Dave, that we were talking about. Or The Long Drive. Yeah. Yeah, The that Long game, Drive. I was watching Tomato play it, and that game has... Not worth it, Dave. ...worst... <laughs> That game has the worst, like, shitting sound I've ever heard in my life. Remember, Tomato even said that this sound needs to be illegal. It's like... Wait, worse than, like, the Donald Duck thing? <laughs> yeah, it's <worse laughs> That was almost that spot right. on! Wow, you're good at that! You're really good at I, that! I have, like, five skills in this entire world, and one of them is making a good gnome fart noise. Is that just a sneeze? <laughs> <laughs> He's really farting on the mic, dude. Chat, that wasn't a fart. <sighs> what was it? Chat, this is Solid Snake. I'm here to inform you that that was not, in fact, a fart. Oh, stinky. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> Yeah, this, uh, the frame rates here are fucking crust arena. I've never seen it this bad, aside from last time I was in a factory. Never mind. Yeah, well, was on, sit there. Oh god, we are being swarmed. I just see, like, five dogs just ran at the factory, and they're all hanging out outside, so... It's gonna be more than a three-dog night. I- I'm just... God, Mono. God. It's daytime. Wait, are you making a Three Wolf Moon reference or a Fallout 3 reference? A forgot the name of the band reference. Oh. You 
way to the world. Yeah, would you rather have a three dog night or a tropical hot dog night? Tropical hot dog night. And imagine what happens during one. Like two flamingos in a fruit fight. Okay. <laughs> There's so many of them. Holy fuck, they just keep coming! Those are the only two lyrics I can remember from that song. The rest of it was mostly just yelling, grizzled man. <laughs> I'm gonna come in and pretend to help, but just die after the first zombie I fight. I've done a pretty oh, good job at keeping them out of my face, at least. Damn, that was a lot of fucking zombies. And the Where's reward the is that there's, there's a, uh, a lot of crates up here, too. Yeah, I wish they dropped more stuff. It's, like, so rare. Even when you have, like, the maximum luck yeah. stuff, they still don't drop very often. You'd imagine, like, you know, some of these zombies would at least have something on in their pockets or something. Don't hate me, but in Fallout 76, there's one um, type of zombie that's like this giant, muscular, acid-looking thing, and it always just drops a toothbrush. It's just like, what was the life? of this zombie before it turned into this. What game was it? Like a what? super mutant ghoul? It's a post-apocalyptic multiplayer game that everyone loves. Mm -hmm. 76. Oh, post-apocalyptic no. um, multiplayer game 76. I yeah. understand. See, I used to get made fun of for liking Sea of Thieves, and now it's like suddenly cool. I mean, that's happened well, a couple times, a though. Lot. Yeah, they worked on it. I mean, I, I've always said, like, just put effort into your games. Even if it launches shitty, that sucks. I prefer if it launched good, but I'd rather them work on it than abandon it. I remember the first time I streamed No Man's Sky, even though things... Not the first day it came out, but when the update came out and people were like, Oh, this is good again. There were a lot of chat members that treated me as if I was the bad guy because I was just playing the game. They're like, what? No Man's Sky? Why would you do this? And it's like, people, dude, it got better. People get a high better. off of talking down to game developers like, how dare you think I would be entertained by this, you pathetic game developer. I think like, that, that's the case. It's, it's easy to, like, break. even me, when I played No Man's Sky the first day, it was bad. It was really just like a pile of shit. So, like, you know, you spend money on a thing that, that was hyped, and then it turns out to be that. I get the impetus, I get the impulse. But, you know, I also think that it's cool that they actually ended up fucking working on it. But, Wait, yeah, first even. Time you played it. Yeah. Wasn't that like when you played Fusion? Or not Fusion. In that Federation uh, Force. Federation Force at the exact same time. Yep. <laughs> One of the worst streams I've ever done. But even then, I could tell, like, you know, both of these games were pretty rough. I actually, um, I actually liked Federation Force better than No Man's Sky. But then I ended up liking No Man's Sky way better than Federation Force after years of work. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. I, mean, the break. <laughs> I heard Federation Force was an okay game, it just wasn't what, what people wanted because we hadn't had a Metroid entry in, like, a really long time. And that was the first time we got to see the series in a while. Also, chat, I don't think games are immune from criticism. I wasn't trying to say how dare people criticize games, and just saying that 
there's definitely a hate train that goes on when stuff like this happens where they don't even care about the game anymore they just love to like express how much they hate something go to every social media channel like game sucks go to youtube game sucks go to twitter game sucks you know, it's just so well, yeah tiny. but that's for a lot of stuff that's for movies as well move uh tv shows um yeah it's just a thing that it's human it's a, a human thing it's the maybe it's an internet thing. Maybe it's just an impulse. Again, I I don't blame people for not liking a game and being like these developers lied and took our money and ran away with it. But then you know if a developer actually ends up working on a game, making it better, doing a good discount, I think that's that's even better than just abandoning it and moving on to a new project because it means that you know they're trying. It shows effort, but, um, like I said, this is a selfish impulse, but the idea of, like, me being, like, the Billy William Eyelash bad guy because, um, I'm just playing the game, that's like, it's like, alright, well, you know, I'm, I'm just playing it. You don't have to get upset with me. I didn't make it. I'm not forcing you to play it. I'm not really even advertising it. But, uh, that happens. It's just, again, the impulse to hate on something sucks and games should not be immune to criticism but the way some people go about it is just unfortunate that's all i opened up the stairwell for the second and third floors all right i'm checking the toilets stuff in the ceilings here too but yeah i mean there's also um you know, the idea of, like, if you don't like a game, you don't have to watch the stream. Like, I appreciate that people want to watch my streams, whatever it may be. Same for their other favorite streamers and YouTubers, but... You know, if it's a game you don't want to watch and you're like, oh, this is not... this doesn't look good. I've so, never understood that. Why would you watch something that you weren't into? <laughs> like, if, just come back a different day or something, or watch a VOD. Yeah, like... I mean, there's there's TV shows that I've started that I didn't like and I didn't continue watching. Um, I mean, of course, unless there is a man with a gun to your head. Yeah. Forcing you to watch Fine Sauce. Mr. Nielsen. <laughs> so, uh... Jeff found a bunker. Oh, fuck. There's another thing I wanted to mention. What was it? Oh, um... Fuck. It was... Oh, like Star Trek Picard, right? It got to a point where I thought it had some cool ideas. I wanted to see it through because I in invested a lot of time in it. And that's like a different thing because that's a TV show with like a, an ongoing story. And I was like, all right, well, I want to see Riker. I want to see what happens. Maybe it'll get better towards the end. It didn't. Not for me. It got worse. But... Then there's Star Trek Lower Decks, which I know you like a little bit, Dave. But here's the thing. Yeah. After Picard, it got to a certain point where I was hate-watching Picard. And I wasn't enjoying it. I just wasn't enjoying it. And I had to see it through because, again, I just followed the story. That's when I made the decision... I, I have limited life force, as we all do. I'm not gonna waste that time on Lower Decks. Or Discovery Season 3. I'm... I'm out. So... You know, I gave it a shot. But then it turned into, like, toxic hate-watching, and I just said, fuck it, I'm- I'm good. And now I'm watching Deep Space Nine again, and it's giving me great joy. And so I've- I've shifted my priorities, and I'm now happy again. Yeah, I've been watching Deep Space Nine, like, with Sphinx and the other fellas, and... I never had seen that before, but it's really good. How many episodes have you seen? People told me it sucked for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, there was a lot of, like, weird Deep Space Nine. Like, because it's not TNG and it's slow and they're on oh, the space yeah. station. You know, they're not, like, uh, exploring strange new worlds. The strange new things are coming to them most of the time. But, uh, how, ma how many episodes would you say you've seen so far? Uh, probably most of the ones Sphinx has been airing, so not a whole lot, but, like... Well, but a, a couple, couple dozen. Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. 
That group watch thing is really cool. Like it just it syncs up, syncs everything up for you and everything. I'm I really like it. Peer pressured so much to get Prime now. It's like I want to watch, but like I don't use Amazon ever. Well, very rarely. Guess it works. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a, that's an expensive thing to get if you don't use it a lot. Someone said something about my vitriol um, being a little annoying for Star Wars and Star Trek. I get that. I definitely went on and on about it. Um, I guess it was just uh, people would bring it up in chat and I couldn't resist. You know, it's just like, it's there. <laughs> and, um, you know, streaming as much as I do, like you run out of topics, but sadly, <laughs> sadly, I can kind of endlessly talk about those things because I know a lot about them. And, uh... That's it's okay. just the the disappointment was palpable for my um my viewing experiences of those things as of late. So I get what you're saying. They said it wasn't they said it was justified but uh, repetitive. I get that. I try to I try to adjust my streaming a bit. You know, like if 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 I'm like getting too repetitive about a topic, if possible, I'll I'll notice it even if it is a little too late. But yeah, um, then there's also, like, oh God, the other part of streaming that makes it tough is, like, Vin, what'd you think of Picard? You know, seven days a week. <laughs> and they don't, they don't mean harm by it, they just weren't there. Yeah. So, or, like, Vin, did you see the Smash thing? Or, Vin, did you play Mario? Or, you know, like, I know people mean well, but on one level, like, I see it and I get a little annoyed because it's the same question, but I know that they're not just trying to be pricks, they just haven't seen the stream. So then I inevitably just start talking about the same thing I talked about yesterday. And... Oh god, dog! I don't mm -hmm. expect... Go on. I, don't, oof, <laughs> I, I don't expect everyone to watch every one of my streams. Some people may not be interested in my 7 Days to Die streams at all. So they might not hear a specific rant. And I could tell them like, oh yeah, I said that during 7 Days to Die. And then, you know, they're like, oh yeah, I don't want to watch that. So... It's a kind of a weird thing. Repetition with streaming is sadly just the kind of a part of the the business. But I agree that my um my vitriol towards Star Wars and Star Trek was uh was repetitive, but check this out. It was also pretty new. Picard and Episode 9 were both around the same time. So, oh it, yeah, they were. It, it mm -hmm. just happened all at the same time. Yeah. Before that, it was something. Game of Thrones, but that's a whole different story. What's up, Dave? I found something you're gonna like. A recipe. Oh. For a gun. Cool. Some chat members that need their life force restored by streamer reactions. And they need you to react. Can't, I mean, on the subject of reactions and, like, having to, like, re clarify yourself constantly like what if there was a system that like gave you a heat map based on how many clips were generated or something and then you could just like easily find out what the most interesting part of the stream was to watch it'll always be robertson's <laughs> that's true <laughs> there you go okay Perfect that's when you counter to that one it's when you accidentally show something that you don't want on stream that becomes the most popular thing you've ever streamed like, 40 clips are made. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that happens anyways. So, yeah, I think that, like, more tools for that would be cool, too. Like, but even so, I'm... You get a kind of a feel intuitively of what people want to hear and, you know, when they get sick of something. But also, you know, I'm going to talk about stuff that people have no interest in. Guaranteed. And that's cool, too. I bet we have the technology for a an AI that listens to your entire stream and everything you talked about, and it categorizes it by what subjects you said and what the chat's reaction were to certain subjects, and then it just gives you this readout oh at God. the end that said, like, all right, you spent 45.6% of your time talking about Star Trek, and it was received well in the beginning, and then it very quickly, but I'm not... This, this just, just sounds like what Hollywood... Example. This just sounds like what Hollywood does for, like, movie-focused testing, and, like... I mean, yeah. isn't that what, how they do the ad algorithms? Like... The ad... what? Well, like, how they detect, like, what ads to play on your stream that are relevant to... Is, is it? Like, 
I'm pretty sure, yeah. Like, they kind of, like, go off, like, what is your community talking about? Desert, you talk how, about how Star did, Trek a lot, and how you did get you, the card. How did you say... Oh, you're probably right. I've also had people say that their ads, like, based on me saying words, like, activated ads for, like, you know, like, Mr. Dink Diapers, for example. Like, if I say that enough, <laughs> eventually their YouTube starts recommending them, like, ads for Mr. Dink Diapers. Like, I make a lot of dirty jokes on my stream, and now people are getting condom ads. <laughs> Yeah, I guess likewise for me. I wonder if that's my yeah. fault. Jesus. I, I kind of do too. Yes, but maybe chat. that's not how it works. I don't know how it works, actually. That's just a guess. I know a lot of stuff. I don't know about Twitch specifically, but I know a lot of things on like YouTube and all that are... They look at what kind of subject matter is common between you and other channels and what viewers of your channel also watch and it like makes recommendations to them based on like similar content it's like oh, oh yeah. you really like cars so here's a a racing video here's a you know so like it recommends based on common overlap between content listen the algorithm shit definitely makes things easier and i appreciate like getting recommended relevant stuff but like, the idea that you mentioned, Desert, about, like, you know, the algorithm determining what viewers responded to the most. Um, that's a little scary. Because that means... What have I done with my bike? Oh, no. Uh, that means that, like, you know, I, I wonder, like, are things gonna get so homogenized to the point where, you know, you have, like, the statistics and, like, streamers are just like, oh, no, well, I'm not gonna talk about this because that topic doesn't have... doesn't perform well. Yeah, and that's just gonna be... that's just gonna be lame I feel if like that we're happens. already there. Yeah, and it, but without the, the help of technology. But, yeah, we'll give it another, like, five years and these tools are gonna roll out and it's gonna be... a lot of that. But yeah, streamers, there's always going to be people that ignore that kind of shit and just talk about whatever they want. I think people will gravitate towards that if that's what they like. I mean, yeah, that's what you do. <laughs> Someone just wrote anti-pog topics, resident sleeper. <laughs> it's like exactly that, yeah. This topic does not excite... Well, someone in chat earlier was saying that in the future, streams will be judged by their uh, LPMs, which would be lulls per minute. And, it's just like, <laughs> yeah, it's and then, like, there's going to be streamers that have the highest LPMs, and, like, they'll be the most recommended. Like, today's Twitch award, you know, this year's highest LPM streamer is Pogrel. And it's like, thank you so much. I can't believe I get as many pogs as I do. Um, I'm just so I'm just so honored to be here at the Twitch Awards. I'm sure they could already generate uh, automatically generate clips of streams based on chat reactions. So it just says like, okay, chat activity drastically increased when this happened, so capture the 30 seconds before and after this moment, and there we go. <laughs> oh yeah, I've had bots actually hit me with that before. Yeah, in brackets, chat activity increases. I don't know how they work, but like, there's like a lot of weird bots on YouTube that just like, I guess skim Twitch for like exciting moments or something. And then they just extract it and put it all into a big dump video. <laughs> dump. It's really weird, but it's definitely bot generated. Well, I feel like uh, I've succeeded as a streamer because I got a an email today recommending that I do Raid Shadow Legends, even though I stream like once a month. So I feel like I finally made it. But it was generated, it's like, hello, the underscore monotonous. I really enjoyed your uh, borrow trauma stream. It was very exciting. Would you be interested in but Shadow Ledges instead of our Lord and Savior? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I still get like weird, like, hello, Vine Sauce Joel. Hello, John. I, you know, I just get called John. 
like whatever any like any name they don't really know most of the time but like my my pog stats were probably very high so um that seems to work well enough for them it's more valuable pogs per minute or lulls per minute i'd say lulls probably and the dystopian future of 2021 pogs will be how we buy our food and water yeah like digital currency. It'll be like Bitcoin Pog coin. Oh god, is someone gonna do that now that I've said it? Yep, I said it. Now it's <laughs> happening. Pog coin. It already yep. We'll have pog credit systems. So it'll be yeah, pogs, right? And but there'll be actual pogs, and then there's gonna be slammers, <laughs> which will be worth more. Wow. I don't know, I feel like Slammers have feel like they've got, you know, the what do you call it? Like the bad end of the deal here. Like it's pogs and slammers were one and one for a long time, and then pog got really famous, became its own thing, and slammers just kind of disappeared, and no one really knows what they are anymore. Yeah, well, they destroy pogs. We know that, but you know that's the still anti pog. Those yeah, slammers are anti pog. Yeah, correct. Yeah, if those, <laughs> there's probably people here like, are these people? Like brain damaged. <laughs> We're all having a stroke at the same time. Yes. But but truthfully, like this is a thing we grew up with in the nineties. Type pogs and slammers nineties, if you want, I guess. That's probably the best way to find out what the fuck we're talking about. So Yeah, kids in the nineties were dumb as hell. We played with cardboard circles. I had a pog maker. It was just a circle die cut thing in sticky cardboard. And you put a picture in it, and you twisted the thing, and you made your own pog. Yeah, those existed. That's right. And I was really dumb as a bab, and I, because I was using photographs, like, you know, before digital photos and stuff. My parents were like, oh, we got some, like, bad photos. You could just cut those up. And I found the only photo of this one dog that like my, my mom had as a kid and I turned it into a pog. Oh no! What's wrong with you? only memory is this dog pog. <laughs> hey, that sounds good though. That's Dog pog is worth a lot more. At you least know what? That actually turned pogs. out kind of nice. Yeah, luckily I cropped it pretty well so the dog was nice and centered. And... That's doggers, bro. Yeah, that's. There's, I think there's at least a hundred poggers and one doggers. That's I don't know doggers what's higher AF. than doggers, though. Yeah. While you guys are saying this, I'm watching trees literally disappear before my very eyes. Well, you can go to the Amazon oh, yeah, rainforest. I see that on your stream. <laughs> the closer I get, the more they disappear. They're not here. They these <laughs> trees. What? Oh, okay, this is a glitch. This is a bad yeah. glitch. All right. You know too much. I'll write the disappearing tree song just for you, Jeff. Don't worry, I got this. Don't tell the Lorax, though. I still don't know what the fuck a Lorax is. Uh, it's a Danny DeVito that protects trees. All right. <laughs> hey, Danny DeVito. Replace yeah. the booby, the That's B a type of Danny DeVito. Replace the boob, the B and booby with a T. The booty trip. Whoa! I've never actually drank an energy drink in this game before. Your run speed like fucking doubles. Yeah, you go mental, and and <laughs> you can, you can uh, actually get rid of your um, encumberedness. So here's the deal, my lads. Uh, we're not going to be able to see the raid. It went a lot slower than I thought, so that's going to be next stream. Um, but I feel like we've made good progress. I'm going to get going. So if you guys want to uh, deposit your items or keep them on yeah, you, that's uh, fine. We'll try to... Okay. Next time, I'm, I'm assuming we will have... Uh, I got you some recipes. We'll, we'll have the raid. Oh, yeah, um, you said there was a... Oh, okay, let's see. So... Okay, Magnum. <laughs> what the fuck? You can create spam? 
and shotgun you gotta turn shoot. off your spam blocker and it, you get a lot of it. Can of sham is empty can, rotting flesh, bone, animal fat, and bottle of acid. What the fuck? Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Anyway, when you guys are ready, let me know, and uh, we'll just, you know, disconnect the server. The acid makes the rotten stuff go good. <laughs> it makes the colors taste better. I I'm still a fan of blue. A color that's rarely found in nature for food, but blue is, is good flavor. I tend to like... Black, I guess. I like black. You licorice. like licorice? Yep. Yeah. Have you ever seen that flash animation? Uh, black licorice. No. I don't know if I want. With to. the jump scare. <laughs> Spoilers. It's like a really old Halloween flash with a bunch of like little kids asking for candy, and if you give them a black licorice, they turn demonic and scream at you. <laughs> Well, that explains a lot. I think it was like on Nickelodeon.com or something. I don't- I do not remember that at all. But, uh, yeah, they're saying it was on the Nickelodeon website in chat. Yeah. Vinny, blue Gatorade or blue crayon? Ah, uh, blue crayon was the best flavor. It's all good. Alright, uh, Desert, I think you're the only one left, so... Never yeah, mind, you're not. Yeah, I was just not. my stuff. Cool, alright, let me- let me exit. Sorry, everybody, we won't get to see the big raid today. Um... I'm just gonna play this game every now and then, and then hopefully, you know, just defend the strip club. So this will probably be, I would imagine at best, this will be a series of, you know, for stuff that I could revisit every now and then. But, um, the addiction has definitely died down. Spelunky 2 is new addiction. Uh, so, you know, it's still worth playing a bit. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, mods, thank you for joining. Uh, good conversations. Yes, we know. Copy that. Copy that. <laughs> okay, take care, guys. Bye. See you, dude. You too. <laughs> All right, let's do the art. Again, for more streams tomorrow night, I'll be probably finishing Mario Galaxy. And uh, I might also do Mario 35. And who knows when Hades will be back, but soon. So let's just jump into the art real quick.